up to the episode from sportyjob.com. Every week, we bring you the European sports industry and news about its retail, brands, trade shows, events, and of course, the employment market and the latest job offers. See you on sportyjob.com for archives on our web episodes and all kinds of details about the latest job offers in the sports industry. This week, we will sail through retail expansions, outstanding sales results, marketing initiatives, trade show season, e-commerce, and stock markets. In the retail front, we'll talk about Sport Direct, Sport 2000, and Go Sport. While brands will be for Via Corporation and Armour Sports, the company of the week will be Skull Candy, and about trade shows, we talk about Bike Show, Bread and Butter, and Bright. In the employment front, we will of course talk about new movers and our job offer of the week, brought again by Oakley. In the retail world, Sports Direct International, the leading British sports retailer and wholesaler, raised its stake in Black's Leisure Group to 21.3% in the past few days. SDI has also taken over 80% of West Coast Capital, the company that runs the USC chain of young fashion apparel shops, and Cruise Clothing, a smaller chain of upmarket fashion boutiques. SDI, which has stated ambitions to expand its international retail operation into all 17 countries that have adopted the euro and these within five years, ended the fiscal year with stores in Belgium, Slovenia, Portugal, Netherlands, Cyprus, France and Luxembourg. The group has also a 50% shareholding in the Heathens chain in Ireland and plans to expand into Malta. Still, the international unit is less than 11% the size of Sports Direct's retail business in the UK. The General Assembly of Sport 2000 International was held in Sofia. The international buying group enjoyed robust sales last year as the estimated retail sales of the buying group's members increased by 6.4% to about 5 billion euros in 2010. The raising retail turnover last year was driven mainly by Germany, while the closure of company-owned stores and other internal difficulties, as treated in our last episode, depressed Sport 2000 sales in France. The group is therefore preparing to step up its marketing investments in the Sport 2000 minor story. Sport 2000 International decided in Sofia to set up a strategic policy of Product and Marketing Executive Committee which will take decisions on international marketing investments. Despite reporting a net consolidating loss of 14.4 million euros for the first half of this year, the group Gospa, the French sporting goods retailer, is aiming at a financial turnaround through a closer partnership with the brands, to differentiate from Decathlon, and also combined with more targeted program ranges. On the other hand, the company is also studying local clientele profiles to adapt the offer to its specificities. And, with the help of Adidas, Nike and DC Shoes, Courier plans to open up a new action sports segment in stores for an even younger group of customers aged from 15 to 18. And last but not least, the group is also studying alternative options to launch its e-commerce operations towards the end of 2012 or at the beginning of 2013. In the brand's front, fueled by its outdoor and action sports coalition, Via Corporation saw its sales jump by 15% to 1,840 million dollars for the quarter. The outdoor and action sports coalition enjoyed a sales raise of 23% for the quarter, and the North Face alone achieved a sales jump of 21% for the quarter. It was slightly outgrown by Vans, which showed its sales rise by 22% for the quarter. Kipling did even better, with sales up by 37%, and Napa Piri managed a sales up of 46%. The outdoor and action sports unit sales in all its international markets climbed by 42% for the quarter. The other parts of VF, from jeans to sportswear and other fashion brands, also, their sales inflate at double digit rates for the quarter. While Viet had predicted that its sales for the full year would expand by about 10%, it now anticipates that the rates will reach 10, 12 to 13%. Our Sports plans to increase sales from e commerce and corporate single brand stores to 10% of the group's net sales. 
The group has already started pilot e-commerce operations in France for Salomon and Sunto, and now plans to launch new online shops in other parts of Europe and North America. The aim is to surround the customer with a great brand experience, communicate the value of the brands, and then let the consumer decide how and where to buy. Messe München is coming into a closer competition with the Eurobike show organized by Messe Frederichshafen, as the schedule of its own bicycle trade show is, next year, going to move forward from July to August 1619, when it will be rebranded as ISFO Bike. Still called by Expo, but for the moment, the Munich Fair wrapped up its third annual session and with a total of 6,500 industry professionals attending from more than 50 countries, meaning a 14% increase in visitors, and an additional 15,000 consumers checked out the exhibition. This year's event again demonstrated the growing niche of electric bikes and pedelecs, which Messe München called the absolute driving force behind the growth in the cycling industry. A total of 890 exhibitors, up by 3% compared with the previous year, welcomed over 21,000 trade visitors at the auto show held in Frederichshafen. The attendance figure was up by 5% compared to 2010. The share of non-German visitors were high at 59%, naturally including a good share of retailers from neighboring countries Austria and Switzerland. Bread and butter, trade show, for selected brands which took place on July 6 to the 8th on the historic grounds of Berlin's Tempenhof Airport celebrated its 10th anniversary under the motto The Bread and Butter Super Show. Once again, visitor numbers were not published. However, the organizers said the show recorded its highest number of visits since the return of Bread and Butter to Berlin from Barcelona. About 60% of the professional visitors were not German and they came from around 100 countries. Bright, which remains the European trade show for streetwear, sneakers and skateboarding, featured more than 300 brands and registered some 15,000 visitors. The ratio of foreign visitors at this year's Bright Fair reached 40%, with France representing the largest portion of European visits, followed by Brits, Italians, Swiss and Austrians. The company of the week is Cold Candy, the US leading audio brand reflecting the collision of the music, fashion and action sports lifestyle represented in over 70 countries worldwide and who has successfully gone public in therefore is trading in the Nasdaq stock change market under SKUL, S-K-U-L. In honor of the occasion, Jeremy Andrews, the new president and CEO of Skull Candy, ran the Nasdaq closing bell last Wednesday, July 20, 2011. In the European distribution front, German company Bitnet, based in Regensburg, has recently been appointed new distributor of all Skull Candy products in the action sports segment. And now, our job offer of the week is brought to you by Giant Eyewear Oakley, who is recruiting an EMEA training and development manager. The position will be based in Zurich. And for any more details, please log on to sportyjob.com. <laughs> this week's movers are Joost Cruz Fires from Soul Technology. Employee is the new excuse me, employed as a new sales manager from Balkan Europe. Grégoire Puget, former ASP Europe, is now brand manager at Action Sports at Nike in Spain. And Jose Fernandez, after 20 years at Orbea, is the new general manager of this Spanish producer of bicycles. Sorry again. Bill Adams is the new general manager of the EMEA markets at New Era. And now, the latest stock market trendings from the world's leading sports companies.
Before closing this new Sporty Job Web TV episode, we would like to thank Sporting Goods Intelligence for its news and analysis of the international sports market. For further details and in-depth analysis of all key sports, eyewear and shoe market related topics, please subscribe to the newsletter on sgieurope.com. Are you a business owner looking for the perfect employee or are you just looking for a job? Sportyjob.com is your meeting point. Totally free is the ideal sports industry job platform 